This improv story, based on the idea, women buys packet of seeds like the story commence. Mary was looking at her garden here in summer, and she was like, right, let's plant some stuff, because it's summer and I've just got grass. So she went to, she's like, where'd I go? Is it b and Is it at Dobby's? Daniel's shouting how to dodge his attack. Um, I literally clicked dodge. Well, obviously you didn't, Daniel. You didn't do enough the game. I know there's bugs in games, but the game doesn't lie. Take some responsibility for your mistakes. Sorry. Um... Right, Daniel, stop moaning, everybody can hear you. Um, Chris Abit says, remember when your controller was broken, John Sekiro? It was, though. It fucking was. It was. My controller. What is it? Is it this one? Or is this a good one? It might, it might be this one. See there? It works most of the time. See there? It works all the time. It might have been the other one, actually. See, I'll press it right up at the pointy bit. Good. So that there, it, it sometimes doesn't work. I think it was the other controller because it actually broke. It actually, like, the button fucking came off. That's it. That was real. That, isn't it? Um, so she went right, she went to Dobby's. She walked in there. Daniel, can you stop it? Everybody can hear. Stop moaning. It's Dark Souls 3. You know better than anybody is hard as fuck. Um, where am I? That's Dark Souls. No, I'm glad I did that. Um, so she went to Dobby's, but it was it, it was nighttime. She was think, you know, at nighttime maybe think about things. Um, she was thinking about um, right. I'll get these seeds tomorrow, and oh, but I've got to get up in the morning and do this other thing, and I don't know if we'll have time. It'd be good if they were open at midnight. You know, I could get them, and I'll have them all ready for the morning. Get up at six in the morning. Uh, the sun's coming up, and get these planted. And there might be a wee bit of moisture in the ground and aye that would be good I'm going to have a look they wouldn't have they wouldn't have 24 hour, oh, 24 hours 24 7 dobbies that's not going to happen she took a drive to me did you do it he did it second try second try solar cinder Well done! Everybody's saying congratulations! Well done! What's that? No, this is a special moment. Well, that? I could have helped that. That armpit is not looking good. They generally don't look good. It's a beautiful armpit you've got.
The arse of the torso is. <laughs> what? Dark Souls 3 completed everybody. That's a 10 year old there. Daniel, did you do the whole lot yourself? There we go. Solar Cinder second try. Took about 10 tries before. That's some data arms. Aye, that's right. It says it's about like 100 tries before. Second try. Dark Souls 3 completed. Remember to save that. Daniel. 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 Remember to save the video. Right. What now? Do you know what I mean? What now? Good. Um, and then she went to this Dobby's at midnight and it was open. But it was strange. It was this kind of blue light. Maybe it was the moon. Kind of blue, twinkly white it. And you know what the funny thing is? She didn't actually look on the map. It, it, she was looking for a Dobby's on, a, on Google Maps. And she was trying to drive to this other Dobby's. But this one was on the way there. But it wasn't coming up on the map. And it's all twinkly. She went, oh well, must, have been, must be the moonlight. So, she walked up to it. It's funny, the blue light made, made it look kind of, I don't know, sort, sort of weird. Kind of older looking, it was it was in an old building. Looked like a kind of, like an old um, haunted house. Castle looking sort of thing, like Dracula sort of castle. Must be, like you know how pubs take care of old churches. And go, well, listen, it'll just be gone to waste. Just a wee moment. What's that? Is your phone in there? It is. Alright, and hold on. Right, hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, give us a wee moment. That's that. Do that. Do that. Uh, how do I, how do I clear all this shit? Let's get rid of that one. Keep that one. I don't want to accidentally phone in a number that's phoned me in the recent fact. Go to contacts. There we go. Right. Sorry about this. Well done. Do I just tap on Lynn? Yeah, I don't, don't, don't dox, don't, don't dox. Uh, and it says phone. Aye, that's it. No doxing, please. No doxing, thank you. That was a wee, a wee high five there. Anyway, she went into this haunted looking place, but it must be like an old uh, church that they take care and they go, we'll, we'll take it here and we'll respect the, the old building, but we'll turn it into a Dobby's. So she went in and there was an old man with a grey beard there and she said, hi, are you open? And he went, yes. What is it you wish? I just want some um, seeds for flowers. I have just the thing. Well, I haven't really told you what flowers I want yet. What I was thinking was I want a bit of red and a wee want a bit of kind of green. No. Right. Uh, keep a hold of it then. In fact, give me it. New Game Plus. <laughs> improv a uh, dead. The improv, uh, this isn't a proper improv. This is, uh, but there's, 
Right. Anyway, the old guy went, these are the seeds for you? Mary? She went, all right. I was like, how did you know my name? Well, you must have said it. Okay, I don't remember, but all right. Uh, how much? And as she was asking, she turned around to say, so how much? And when she turned around, the whole place was gone. And she went, that's strange. So she got back in the motor and drove back to the house. <laughs> and she was ready to go to bed to plant the seeds in the morning. But a voice, she heard a voice going like that. You must plant them now. She thought, was that an owl? She thought, maybe I should plant them now. So she planted them, and she checked the time, and it was still midnight. Even though she was at that Dobby's about 15 minutes ago, at midnight she checked, it was still midnight. She checked various things. The clock in the wall, the clock in the oven, the clock in the phone. Checked everything. Midnight. So she planted, she just sort of chucked, she didn't know what to do, chucked the seeds everywhere and went, that'll be it. Went to sleep. She woke up, looked to it. Everything was, everything was the same. She went and looked. She couldn't even see the seeds anywhere. Must have been birds. Birds must have came and eat, uh, ate them. Must, must have eaten them. Eight, have eaten, right. And then she was looking up at the sky and there was three moons. She was like, what's this? She asked her neighbour, she says, have you, have you noticed that? And they went, have you not know, heard on the news? And she ran back into her house and switched on the news. And every telly channel, because that's what it goes like. See the seeds? They were magic seeds. But instead of growing up to somewhere far away, they grew in the opposite direction and have moved off to a new place. They grew down. And moved Earth away. And knew they were in a completely different, not just part of the galaxy, completely different galaxy. Edinburgh's nicest boy says, really noticing the flickering. Um, thank you very much, see, see, I'm open to, there is, I, I saw the flicker in myself. All the way up, you want to see it all the way up, watch this. It is. I get no, there's no flicker at its brightest. Keep it like that. There you go. I could keep it like that for the day. It's nice. It's reflecting off the, the, the monitor, I kind of see. Slightly going away there. No, 
still there. Still there. Still there. Still there. Still there. Still there. Still there slightly. I have to have to do that. It's weird. It's weird. I think it's the, it's the day with the dimmer. It's the day with the dimmer. See, it, see without the dimmer bit, you take the dimmer off it, it's absolutely fine, but it's just too bright. I'd have to have it like all the way out there. Like at the other end of their fucking house. Um, different part of the galaxy. And they're all looking a bit like, who did this? Who did this? And this big spaceship came down and said, who are you? And it was three wee spaceships. Three wee aliens, each in their end wee spaceships. And they were only that size, including the spaceships. But they were extremely powerful because they'd worked to how to get more energy in a, a weird thing. Weird space. They'd worked it all out. They'd worked to how to fuck about with infinite space. Infinite microspace. Um, they'd worked it out. They'd worked to how to make things like weird and weird and weird. Three wee aliens. And they said, who did this? And Mary went, it wasn't me. And because they were advanced, they went, we can work it from our brains that you're lying. And then they fucking started tearing slices right through Earth. Well, with a wee laser. Wee la tiny wee laser coming at a spaceship that size. Slice. Like, like atomic. The sli slicing right through at atomic structure. Slice right through Earth. Another one about that. Ripping it up like, like a fucking Stanley. Right through it. Families were torn apart like that. There was families, like, some of them were on this side of the rip, some of them were on that side. And they saw it, like, some people were cut right in half. There was one guy who was standing right in the middle of the laser, when it went right through him, right through the house, right through Earth, all the way through, right through the fucking Earth's core. Whole lot. And a, a wee lassie, the wee daughter was like, Daddy! Daddy! And they were like, no! Fucking gut suit and everything, man. And see, because he was ripped in half, man, and the fucking guts were out, it went right through all the fucking place where all the shite is. Our intestines, not, man. Intestines. 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 That place is humming a shite farts, man. She was like, ah! That's the last thing he saw. He's in Wayne. Horrified that his murder, and it was murder. Even to the aliens law, the aliens' law. It was actually murder there, because these three wee bastards weren't permitted to do that. Horrified at the murder. And he also saw his daughter horrified at the smell. At the smell of the shite. Because he'd been torn right through it. It's basically like doing a shite right there and then. The 1974 Alien Act. Aye, so then the space police came along. And they looked just like... They looked like... Um, space ali um, alien... Pol alien police. Let's see. Aye, something like this. Something like that. But. 
where kind of Mary Police Scotland look, you know, with that, that, that kind of thing. That sort of thing, yeah. That kind of hat, you know, with the, you know, with the, the horns and the, and the jacket up here. You know how during the winter they always have their horns and the jacket up there like that. And they went, um, sorry about that. This is why Earth's falling apart. We're fucked. Gra losing gravity and everything because of the mass. Science. And the alien police said contrary to the 90, uh, star date 1529352.6. Alien Galact uh, Galaxy Federation Law Scotland Act. They've got a Scotland there as well. Contrary to section thingy of that paragraph thingy. Um uh, these three we aliens will be placed under arrest. Obviously they are under the age of uh, culpability. Uh, they are under 16, so they will, uh, they will not be sent to an actual prison, prison. They will be sent to a, a young offenders uh, institute where they'll be helped out of this way of life uh, through the, the violence reduction unit. And uh, I can understand it's not, it's not comfort. This is, this is him talking to Earth using a big loudspeaker thing that everybody on Earth could hear. I can understand as a victim of this, uh, you're, you're not sympathetic at all to this, and I completely get that, I would be the same if it was me, but we're trying some radical measures to try and get these wee guys uh, out of this way of life, and uh, again, I know it's no comfort to you, but these are radical moves, there's some, there's, some, there's some other officers who don't agree with this, they just think, you know, just lock these wee guys up, you know, throw away the key, I get it, I'd feel the same, but, you know, we'll just try to do everything we can to just prevent this, it's a long-term strategy here, um, it's a long-term strategy, there's no easy fixes, it's just not worked in the past, just give them a clip round the ear like we used to do, all that, it just, it just makes it matters worse, develops a, a culture of violence, and uh, we're, we're, we're trying to do something different here, if it doesn't work, all I can do is apologise, but I get, by that point, everybody had died. But he'd started, so he'd finished, and a colleague did say, just keep going, because he will be saying this to other planets, and this is really good practice. And this was actually a junior officer, because it was only Earth. They didn't give a fuck about Earth. It wasn't like one of the big, important planets. So they got a junior in. They got a junior into it. One of the first things you do as an officer, apparently, is go in the doors and uh, tell people somebody's died. It's one of the first, thing, first things you've got to do. So that's that. So just to let you know, um, I do have some bad news uh, regarding your planet. It's fucked. You can't say that. They're, they're not hearing me anyway. I know, but for practice, this has been recorded for training. But they all laughed. They all had a wee laugh. Everybody in the training had a wee laugh. And then training later when they played it all back, they said, no, obviously, just stop that there, have a good laugh. I just thought I'd start that one with a chuckle. I just thought I'd start the training with a chuckle there, but of course you would not say that in real life, okay? That's because the planet was already a goner and everyone was dead. But seriously, don't do that, okay? The end. That's that. I'll try to keep it shorter next time. 